Hello all, welcome to the ANSYS tutorials. In this video, I am going to conduct stress analysis on the bicycle frame and I am going to plot the maximum equivalent stress and deformation. The loading conditions are a vertical load of 800 Newton is acting on the seat and a 15 Newton is acting on the handlebar. Open ANSYS workbench. So this analysis comes under static structural, so I am choosing static structure as the analysis type I'm proceeding with the predefined material so I'm not changing that I'm starting with the geometry right click on the geometry choose import and browse the cycle IGS file next right click on the model and choose edit First, I am going to discretize the structure into elements. Right click on the mesh and choose generate mesh. Now the meshing is done. So select static structural. I am going to fix these two edges and I am going to apply the load on seat and the handlebar. First I am fixing the supports. So select fixed support. Choose control and before that choose the face selection tool and select these faces. So you can use the scroll button for zoom in and zoom out and you can use the scroll and control for pan. Next I am going to fix, go to fixed support and fix this internal surface and click apply. Next I am going to apply the load. Go to force, select this top face, click apply and in force I am changing vector to component and in the negative y direction I am applying 800 Newton. Next again go to force. Now select the handlebar top edge, top face, click apply, here also change vector to component and I am applying a 50 Newton node in the negative y direction. Okay. Now go to solution and solve. To view the result, right click on the solution, go to insert and I need the maximum equivalent stress, then I need equivalent one messy stress. Now right click on the solution and choose evaluate all results. And if you need, you can also Insert the total deformation. Now the maximum equivalent one miss stress is 6.9 e power 7 pascal. Okay. So you can see that 
the maximum stress intensity occurs at this connection now the total deformation this maximum deformation is 2.4 e power minus 4 so you can also visualize the safety factor so the minimum factor of safety is 3.5 and the maximum factor of safety is 15 which means the design is safe so to save the results go to images and choose image to file and you can type the name deformation bicycle then click ok